Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to the review of version 407 or I would say 407 which is the official Android 10 update on our beloved handset that is Zenfone Max Pro M1. So in this particular video we will be doing the reviewing part, reviewing part of this particular Android update where we will be covering quick setting, home setting, network, security, beat, fingerprint, face unlock, battery, sound, gaming, some apps like FM radio, then camera to APA, wide wine, stock camera versus Gcam, then benchmarks and afterwards some of the flaws and so on. So let's start with this. So before that let me go back to the previous uh, window I would say previous screen. So it's Android 10 and security patch level of 5th November 2019. You all are already aware about this just for the uh, repeat part or I would say uh, just a recap then Google Play system update of latest month then kernel version of December 28 and the build number QKQ1 WW phone 17 2017.1911.407 then hyphen 2019-12-23 and so on. Now let's move to the very first part that is quick setting. So all in all, all the quick settings are working, be it Wi-Fi, be it Bluetooth, be it mobile data, screencasting, data saver modes and so on. And a part of this dark theme is working absolutely fine throughout the system. So as you can see, I have already enabled the dark theme and it is working absolutely fine with all the options with the deeper into the system integrated and so on. But if you want to work with like this particular accent color or icon pack, then you can go and you can just like turn on the developer option by clicking seven to eight times here as at this moment it is saying no need you are already a developer so after uh, doing this particular thing that particular option will be available under system and developer option just go here and afterwards just move to the very bottom and you will see theming section here it will be accent color font and icon shape so by default i have selected green that's why it is showing this icon share shape tier drop that's why you are a uh, able to view the icon shape as a teardrop and let me show you this has been throughout with all the icons on your system uh, so it's not related to quick setting so let me change it to maybe square circle so now it is square then in the rounded circle so again the same with the other uh, apps as well and so on so it will be throughout be applicable so let me change to my favorite one that is teardrop and afterward you can also change the colors to anyone like orchid so as i've changed to orchid now throughout the uh, system wide you will be able to view this as an accent color but again let me change to green and a part to this dark mode is being uh, like throughout if i'll be opening play store you can even view that play store is having the black or i would say dark mode a part to this if i'll open instagram you will be able to view the same here as well so again dark mode it's it's a bummer that at this moment it is not working with the whatsapp in terms of dark mode so hopefully it might be resolved in the coming days as well and even i have enforced the dark mode but it is again not working so now let's discuss about some other things so you you all are familiar about this home setting widgets wallpaper everything is working so there is no problem with that and hopefully it will be more be optimized in terms of wallpaper when we'll have live wallpaper and so on but i'm not sure whether they will be providing just my assumptions now let's discuss about the network so you can view dual voltage available but uh, i'm not sure whether this has been consistent with all other users but at my side I have an overall good experience, no major issue is being faced by, uh, by me in terms of network connections and so on. But again, if you face any major issue or any bug with the network, do let us know and we'll try our level best to convey the same to the ASUS team and or either in the Telegram groups which have been managed by the official ASUS team and some other custom developers and so on. And apart to this, there is no native calling and uh, there is no call recording. We are not sure whether this will be provided in the future builds as well and not. But at this moment, it is not available. So again, some sort of bummer. So now let's discuss from the point of security where we have fingerprint and face recognition. I know major, like 50 to 60 percent of devices are not having this particular fingerprint option at this moment. But at my side, it is working absolutely fine. So I have already added two different fingerprint. Let me show you the demo. So I'm just going to. It's working, let me do with my another finger that I have enrolled. So all in all, it is working absolutely fine. Apart to this face unlock is also working. So let me show you the demo for the face unlock. I'm just going to unlock all my fingers are in front. 
absolutely working fine let me do one more time great one last time so all in all it's working absolutely fine so on a on a scale of 90 uh, like on a scale of 0 to 100 i will score 90 to 92 for the face unlock because it's not that much worst uh, i would say not worst it's best but not all in all so uh, it, there, again there is a room for an improvement so hopefully in the next build or in the next iteration they will surely be optimizing this as well apart to this fingerprint it is working absolutely fine but there are some problems with the vibration so hopefully those will also be rectified in the next versions and so on uh, apart to this for the fingerprint section uh, like ma majority of people are saying that brother i haven't got this part and so on so all in all earlier it was also will not available at my side what i did i have downgraded it afterward again upgraded and suddenly i watch or like able to view this fingerprint scan you can try but again it's not a hundred percent uh solution it's been like being like being like it it has resolved the problem with many users but i'm not sure whether it's a hundred percent solution or not even i have conveyed this to two to three users and they have tried but they were unlucky but at my side it was a luck so it worked and it's working absolutely fine and apart to this for the fingerprint sensor like sometime it takes some time to unlock and sometime you have to push harder to the sensor a bit harder so that it can detect your finger but again uh, like 9 out of 10 times it is working so there is a chance of 1% where you might 1 to 10% where you might be uh, like your fingerprint might be not working it might be stuck or freeze or you might have to reboot your phone so this is again a known issue at this moment and hopefully it will be resolved by the ASUS team in the next iteration now let's discuss about the very vital part that is the battery so let's start with one by one so firstly the charging time from my side from 0 to 100 was 2.5 50 minutes or i would say 2 hours and 50 minutes to 3 hours 10 minutes and so on so sometime it has been fluctuating sometime it is taking 2 hours 50 minutes and sometime 3 hours 10 minutes so all in all under uh, like nearly about 3 and 3 hours and 50 minutes it would be the at most at my side which i have faced uh, with the charging point uh, or a charging time Sometimes I feel that it has been fast as compared to the previous version that is version 060 and sometimes it feels that it is the same. So hopefully I think ASUS has really worked harder on this part. Most probably we will be seeing a best optimal battery consumption, battery drainage and so on in the next version or in the new version. Apart to this, uh, there, are some, there is some problem with the battery statistics per app usage. Although this particular battery statistic would be fine, but once you will be clicking on battery usage and it will be listing out your battery as per app usage or whatsoever you, those will be somewhat bad. Like I have, I was playing PUBG and Call of Duty for nearly about 2 to 2.5 hours. It was not showing the actual percentage used for that particular apps, but it was showing for some other. So it is at this moment, uh, I would say a bug or an error. Hopefully this will also be resolved. Now let's discuss about the ideal battery drainage. So when I haven't turned on the battery saver, so this is the battery saver. So on an average per hour, the battery, uh, I would say the battery was draining at a percent of 0.5 to 1% per hour. But when I have turned on the battery save, saver, then it was 0.25 to 0.50% per hour. So all in all, I think there is an improvement, but again, uh, I'm not sure what, how would it, this be reflecting with the uh, like variants of 3GB, 4GB, at my side it is 6GB and again it depends upon the background apps and so on but I haven't turned on the like turned off the digital well-being it has been turned on so all in all everything has been uh, by default I haven't played with anything so the, I'm getting these much records or I would say these much results. Now let's discuss about the audio quality or I would say sound. So from an audio quality point of view through headphone it is a mixed response sometimes it feels like you are you are feel like i am getting a best or a good audio quality and sometimes it really feels like a worse quality so again at my side it is a mixed response you can provide your valuable feedback on the same and that will surely be helpful for the others as well and even i have tried this particular thing with two to three different headphones and each and every time like i am using this from last saturday onwards after creating all the back and forth videos and I, it's almost three to four days and i have tried with two to three different headphones and i'm facing the same response in terms of audio quality through headphones through loudspeaker it is working absolutely fine but sometime when you have like uh, turned on the uh, like media volume to the high or i would say uh, audio quality to the very high uh, space or i would say 100 percent the loudspeaker would be you will be feeling like loudspeaker is having some sort of crackling sound 
so please share if you are facing the same that uh, will surely be forwarding this to the asus team and this will surely be resolved so now let's discuss into the gaming part so again we will be reviewing two different apps one uh, i would say two different games one is pubg lover i think this has been the favorite for the most of the people and afterward the call of duty which is again my personal favorite although i also like pubg but nowadays i am more keen into the call of duty again this has been uh, like one's own i would say personal choice so the very bad thing is that there is no hd graphics available so let me confirm you that as well so i'm just going into uh, settings after the graphics so if i'll be clicking on hd it will say coming soon this option is available on your device soon hdr and so on and apart to this frame rate low and medium so again and again like at this moment it is somewhat a bummer so hopefully with the next version this will also be resolved but when i have played with the balance uh, i would say graphics and frame rate with the medium part it was a smooth play but i know you are like nearly about 60 to 70 percent users have been keen in playing hd content so let's wait till the time we get that particular update but from a battery's point of view like when i was running with balanced graphics and medium frame rate the battery drainage or i would say battery usage was 13 to 14 percent when i have played a one hour match or i would say one hour of gameplay so according to me this is a decent battery utilization when you are playing for nearly about 55 to 60 minutes and your battery is just consume nearly about 13 to 40 percent so overall like in this particular version i do see improvement in terms of games so let's wait when they'll be reach, uh, like releasing the hd parts and so on we'll again be reviewing it and we'll surely be seeing what's the uh, battery consumption for sure that will be somewhat higher as compared to the balance and the uh, like uh, with the balance graphics and the medium frame rate but we'll surely discuss that as well now let's move to the call of duty related thing so now it's related to the uh, lovers who love to play uh, like the gamers who love to play with the call of duty as in their favorite game so again uh, let me show you the graphic settings for this as well so audio and graphics so graphic quality is medium frame rate is high again uh, like as i've told you earlier that i am really in love with this particular game as compared to pubg although in uh, like previously i was keen on play, playing this pubg but now i really play uh, call of duty so again the gameplay was nice i have played nearly about 1 to 1.5 hours and so on so when uh, when i was recording this one hour bracket so i nearly about observed that uh the battery utilization was nearly about 15 to 16% so again with this particular graphic settings and so on it's again a decent utilization this is not a much and again if i'm not wrong, not wrong it's almost same as compared to the version 060 which is a pi based so all in all this is again a, a decent one now apart to this some basic things like calculator is working calendar is working clock is working and apart to this other things Uh, now the best thing is that FM radio is working absolutely fine. I can I have to tune in the headphone sets or earphone. Afterward, it will work. But I have tested it; it is working absolutely fine. So it's a good news for the F FM radio lovers that who used to lo love to listen this when whenever they are traveling, be via cab or whenever they are from their office to home or from their schools and offices and whatsoever they are. The you uh, it depends upon the end user. So now let's discuss about the camera to API, which we were waiting from nearly about one to one point five year. Although majority of the users have already like enabled it, but if someone has not enabled it, we'll surely provide a link in the description below for the Pi based. At this moment, it is available out of the box with the Android ten version that is four zero seven or four zero seven. But I am not sure whether this will be keep on in the with the next versions or not. But for sure, this is at this moment it is available. So. this is also good apart to this there is a bummer with the wide one certification so it's really bad that at this moment it is showing l3 hopefully this will be resolved with the next version and they will keep on stuck with the l1 now let's discuss about the stock camera the very best thing is that they have changed that particular ugly interface to a meaningful interface in this particular version i have tried lot of option but main thing is that i haven't seen the clarity so i would say literally this particular like from the optimization part it really needs a lot of things that needs to be improved hopefully you can also try and you can provide us a, your uh, feedback on the same that will surely be helpful for the other subscriber other us users and viewers as well apart to this i have already installed the gcam 7 and we'll be providing you the link for the same in the description as well so that you can go over on the same afterward 
everything is working with this particular gcam 7 except this slow motion and you know, even i am not sure when it will be available for this of uh, for our phone whether it will be or it will not be and so so now let's discuss about the benchmark score so i have just opened the enter to benchmarks and it is showing 151317 this is the overall score then the consolidated from the cpu then gpu memory management ux and so on so all in all with compared to the version 060 it is hardly a uh, difference of 1 to 2% not more than that and again this is these are the benchmark scores for on the basis of geekbench 4 algorithm again single core has scored nearly about 1329 multi core has scored nearly nearly about 4916 again if we'll go with the compute part it is showing us 4250 with respect to render script so it is somewhat low as compared to version 060 but again uh, i never recommend and uh, these score because whenever you will be running these score each and every time on your phone you will surely be seeing the variations on that but just for the persons or the masses who really want to see this score that's why i have included now these are the geekbench 5 scores so this is a single core score that is 280 then multi core score 1259 and apart to this compute score again on the basis of two different apis one is vulkan and another is open cl with respect to vulkan it is 152 with respect to the open cl 430 again i never recommend again for the same thing same excuse i don't want to even repeat it now let's discuss about the ram management and let me show you how many apps are been already in my recent list so as you know that i am i'm keep on creating video like i am creating video from last 20 to 30 minute and i have already open lots of app so let let's discuss let's open few heavy apps like call of duty or pubg because i think uh, few minutes back i had open those so let me open pubg and let's see whether it is it's really nice that it hasn't started from the scratch it has just started from the main screen where i have left uh, while creating this particular video apart to this let's see about the call of duty as well from the recent list so so let me go there okay Voila. again great even it hasn't started from the main memory it has started from where it has been kept before i have uh, like i have uh, left out this particular game while reviewing this particular video while creating this particular video apart to this we can also discuss about like we can open another apps as well but i have already tried so again i would say with respect to beta version its ram management is again decent it is not like uh, worst or a uh, bad so again this also needs some sort of optimization and hopefully this will be resolved but at this moment you can also feel the good part in terms of ram management so we are almost in the verge of the final part so there are few flaws the very first part is that there is no file explorer explorer so they have provided files by google so earlier it was some uh, their like proprietary android based file explorer at this moment it is not showing apart to this there are some weird things with the vibrations like let me if i'll be double tapping here i'll be feeling that abrupt vibration uh, in on my hand as compared to when i was using version 060 or when uh, with other custom room you can even try and you can provide us your feedback on the same again uh, whenever i'll be working with the like i'm unlocking my phone with the fingerprint sometime it uh, the vibration is really nice sometime it again uh, abrupt like uh, feel feel like abrupt a part to this i am not sure why this particular setting suggestions are not going i have already done this part and they are not removing again this is a bug and hopefully this will also be resolved okay and a part to this let me open something else so let me open instagram just for the so whenever i am trying to rotate it you will see something here as a rotation so at this moment i think this particular app doesn't show or doesn't support let me open something else so i've just turned on the home screen to the rotation so you can see if i'll be opening this part so it should show me tilt it is working absolutely fine but this this there is a bug with this even you are tilting your phone it will sometime be showing you which is not sometime it will show and sometime not so i think there is some need, there is some need to improve with the sensor in terms of background mapping with respect to whenever i am uh, uh, changing my rotation and so on and hopefully this will also be resolved as well now the main part is related to recovery mode so let me show you that as well for that i have to restart my phone and boot into the recovery mode and you will be seeing the bummer in that so finally we have been booted to the recovery mode now let me show you the actual bummer so you can see so on the second line just below android recovery it is showing asus then forward slash www hyphen 
X01 BD. This is a code for the Max Pro M2 rather than Max Pro M1. So it's really a bummer that how ASUS developer has created this particular thing. Whether this is this this particular uh, like update was just replicated from the X01 BD or I would say Max Pro M2 code, and they have just made the few changes. That's why we are facing this issue. So hopefully this will be resolved in the next version. But again, this is a bummer. So hopefully this will also be rectified. So all in all, this was all from our side related to the review part of the Android 10 update version zero, version 407. So hope this will surely help you in terms of uh, like knowing whether to update this phone or not. At this moment, I will recommend not to update. But again, it's your wish if you want to test and try. But I have tried my level best to review this thoroughly and I'll uh, hopefully you will also like this video or like this part and you will also be sharing this with uh, others, other, other users as well so that even they can also benefit from this. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.